everyone, welcome to Money Control. My name is Shraddha Sharma and this is Reporter's Take. There is no relief in sight for India's third largest drug maker, Lupin. Now its Tarapur facility is recommend, recommended for official action. We have Money Control's Vishwana joining us to give us more details on that. Hi Vishwana, welcome to the show. Hi Shraddha. So uh, how will it impact the company? So, um... I mean, this will. Uh, I mean, the thing is that the immediate impact will not be much uh, because uh, the existing supplies uh, from this facility will continue. Remember, this is an active pharmaceutical ingredient facility, so the impact will not be direct, but it will be indirect. But analysts are saying that around uh, five to seven uh, generic approvals in US are dependent on uh, this facility. And also one to two of those approvals were scheduled in next 12 to 18 months. So the impact might not be that big, but uh, you know, anyway, getting a, a, you know OA from US FDA is always a concern. All right. So, but help us understand why is US FDA coming hard on Lupin? So definitely, I mean, uh, with Tarap, Tarapur is a fifth uh, manufacturing site under US FDA scanner. Earlier, we have seen. Uh, warning letters for uh, um, you know, Goa, Somerset, Mandideep, uh, Unit 1 and uh, Indore Unit 2. Uh, so, um, so definitely uh, USFDA is, isn't happy with the overall uh, uh, quality compliance systems within Lupin and uh, it expects upgradation of uh, the quality systems, the culture within the company. So that is a big task, uh, you know, ahead of Lupin. Right. So on all of this, has we received a response for the company yet? So th the thing is that the company uh, has been, uh, the, th the company is taking action. I mean, they have been working on it. Uh, uh, they're trying to uh, upgrade. Uh, I mean, they have a compre comprehensive action plan to upgrade the uh, um, systems. Uh, they're, I mean, that program is called Quality First. Uh, it's already going on within the company, so there they're planning to upgrade uh, people, process, uh, products, SOPs, I mean, uh, which means standard operating procedures and training. So they've hired um, Johnny Mikkel uh, as global head of quality. Uh, I mean, earlier she was heading the same function at uh, Canadian drug maker Apotex. And uh, it's planning to give uh, offers Homoset and possibly go up for reinspection uh, of um, I mean, uh, reinspection by USFDA. So it's actually working on the remediation. Right. Uh, it's trying to resolve. But uh, given that the USFDA is expecting, you know, a complete uh, network wide uh, a transformation, I mean, right. that might take uh, much more time. So meanwhile, uh, US is a major market for loop in around 35% um, of uh, um, revenues came from US market in FY19 right. and with uh, Lupin uh, selling its Japanese business, uh, US becomes all the more important for the uh, profitability of the company. Uh, so, uh, I, mean, I mean, around uh, if all these plants to put together around uh, 50 to 60 percent uh, sales are covered by this plant. So, it's very important for the company to, uh, you know, get out of this uh, right. problem. Okay, Vishwana, thank you for joining us with those insights. With that, it's a wrap on today's edition of Reporter's Take. For more news, views and updates, stay logged on to moneycontrol.com. Thanks for watching.